Hello, this is Miguel Gomez with AIDS.gov. I'm speaking with a colleague from the Pew Foundation. Ma'am, could you please introduce yourself? My name is Susanna Fox, and I work for the Pew Internet Project, which studies the social impact of the Internet. Great. And what is your role there? Uh, I'm an associate director, which means um, I uh, have my own research portfolio. I study the Internet's impact on uh, health and health care. Thank you. Um, AIDS.gov works with our federal and our national and local partners in response to HIV AIDS. Could you um, share what advice you would have on the adoption of new media in response to HIV AIDS? Absolutely. What we see in our data, we do mostly telephone surveys about how people use the internet. And what's really amazing to see is that 8 out of 10 Americans now have access to the internet. And of those, 80% have looked at health information online. And they're making decisions based on what they see online. And more and more, it's user-generated content. It's peer-to-peer -peer advice that people are really accessing. Well, thank you. And as we all know, HIV impacts communities of color disproportionately. Could you tell us a little bit about internet use and when it comes to health care um, in communities of color? What's really amazing about our latest data, we have a new survey based on an April 2009 uh, sample which looks at wireless access. And when we take in these mobile devices into account, it turns out that the differences between whites and African Americans is erased. 48% of African American adults have accessed the internet on a mobile device compared to 28% of whites. And so there's this new opportunity that we have to reach people via text messaging, um, on cell phones, and the most important thing is to make sure that your message is accessible on a small screen and able to be shared because of the, our other findings regarding peer-to-peer -peer advice. Um, it's becoming more and more influential in a lot of people's lives. Well, thank you. And this is Miguel Gomez with AIDS.gov.